Hi, I'm Simone Missick, and I am Zora Ujasiri, Human Paladin. Hi, Simone. Hi, Deborah. <laughs> Welcome to D and D. Thank you. So you've never played D and D before, never. right? Never. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about like what is your impression of this game? I'm coming to it cold. Petrified. <laughs> no. Um, it is a wonderful place where I can explore my imagination. You, spot on. I can come up with all kinds of things <laughs> in my mind and share them, and my teammates can tell me whether or not those are effective or not. Precisely. And you are not to be trusted. I am not to be trusted. Yes, apparently. So you've walked in on a very interesting day. Uh huh. I just had my first murder yeah. earlier today. You seem really good at it, though. <laughs> Um, it was actually, I, I mean, I'm, I'm laughing now, but it's sort of a nervous energy because it was a very emotional, yeah. like we were, there were genuine tears and, yeah. and we lost a character that we all really um, adored. Does that, does that make you nervous? Like you said you don't like to fail at things. Like I, what is that, how does that pop up? Well, you know, this, because this is a team effort mm -hmm. and I'm a team player, mm -hmm. I don't want to let my teammates down. Mm -hmm. And yet... You know, I think that once we get into the game, I can relax and recognize yeah. that it's you. You know what it this really is? Oh, no. It's because you're smiling. Oh, no. And so everybody's like, oh, I'm so this nice. is so nice. And then you <laughs> kill people. So just a little... The you know, ultimate it's got power. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were playing uh, Zora Ujasiri. Yes. So tell us a little bit, because you even have an interesting background in the name. Yeah, so about. Zora Ujasiri is courage in mm. Swahili, and she was raised in the forest of the healing trees. Mm, I love that. And so she's a paladin, and she's also a bounty hunter. Ooh. So she's a strong warrior, mm -hmm. uh, but she's out for truth and light and to share that light with the world. Mm. I mean, you'll find it in the game and yeah. so forth, but that idea of like bringing truth and light to the world, like is there something you want to play with with that? Like, uh, You know, when people think about valiant yeah. people, they're always, you know, goody-goody and kind of boring. Well, we always say lawful good does not mean lawful nice. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So she's, uh, she, doesn't, she doesn't suffer fools. Gladly. Ooh, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. So that, yeah, so like we talk a lot about like traits and flaws and stuff within D&D &D, and that would 100% be a character trait. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, so yeah, so it's exciting. I know you said you were, when I first spoke with you on the phone, you said you were a little nervous mm -hmm. that your husband used to play. As a kid. As a kid. No, Did he yeah. prep you? He said this is going to be hard. <laughs> He's like, you're going to suck at this. No. Like, why are you trying to do this? I was like, why are you not encouraging me? <laughs> you're terrible. It can be a complex game, but as I've always said, I think this game is best played intuitively. Like, yeah. you just jump in and decide what is like sounds fun. Mm -hmm. um, and as you'll see, I mean, our four main cast players are like, they're, great. they're really fun and yeah. easy and like cool to get along with. Why did you take this on then? If you Are you curious about D&D? I'm curious about it the first time. Uh-huh that I had kind of heard about people playing as adults was when I met your boyfriend. Okay. And he was like, Deborah's a big Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> nerd. I was like, Deborah? <laughs> He's like, yep, she plays it all the time. I was like, really? <laughs> this is two and a half years ago. Why is that surprising? Do you think, is, is, there, is there like a, a stereotype that it's boys? Or, or an that... age limit. Oh, I, It was right around the time that, um, Stranger Things had come Okay. Out. And so you get to watch these kids really living for this game. Yeah. And, you know, you think that there are certain games that are for children and certain okay. games that adults play. And so that was shocking. I was like, oh, people, grown-ups play this game still? Okay, okay. No. But I, growing up, I never knew anyone who played it. Hmm. And so I was... I had always heard about it, but never knew anything about it, except that it was extremely complicated, <laughs> that people got very passionate about it. Very passionate about it. And then when I found out that you yeah. played it, and he was like, oh, no, 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 she's serious. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So when you <laughs> asked me to play, I was like, why would you think I would be the person to play? Well, I will tell you why I actually reached out to you and thought about it, because I'd seen you do theater, and you know we'd done a little bit on Defenders together, and yes. for me, what makes this game great and fun is that completely open 
childlike curiosity. Yeah. That sense of, of wonderment and going with the flow and saying yes to things. And I just remember meeting you and feeling that you were such a like open, warm person. Yeah. And I was like, that's the kind of person that I like playing anything with, do, okay. you know, acting with, but also like D&D. And I thought you'd actually be a really wonderful fit for this well, game. Well, thank you. I feel... <laughs> All warm and fuzzy inside. So yeah, let's play some D&D some All more. All right.